Co-host Christopher Morgan at another undisclosed location. This spot, this time, it's a different spot than before. We've never shot video in this particular spot, so we're gonna shoot here today. There's a lot of people camping. It's pretty early in the morning. We'll probably piss them off, but that's all right. Here we are. We're gonna shoot this uh, Sig Sig Sar. It's 1911. It's the pretty new gun. It's got the rail. It's got all kinds of accessory. You'll add addable things to it. It's got three dot sights. It's a little different than just the regular plain old GI style 1911. It's kind of a tuned up little gun and let's see what this thing can do. The first thing I noticed about the Sig Sauer was the rail. That was pretty cool. This is the first time I've ever even seen this gun. So that was the first thing I noticed right off the bat. And then the second thing I noticed was the sights are a little different. They're not your standard 1911 blade sights. We're going to be shooting some uh, reloads. 230 grain. Loaded with auto comp. Nine down. All right, we got the Sig Sauer 1911. I'm gonna run a mag through and see what I think of it. This is my first time handling this firearm, so I no, don't have any experience with it. So um, I'm gonna see how it does in comparison to some other 1911s I've shot. Jam. Okay, well, you've seen in the video that we did have one jam. However, it was not the fault of the gun. It was the reload. Uh, one went, something went wrong in the reloading process, and it must have went unnoticed until now. So it was the fault of the ammo, not the gun. All right, if you were to compare it to some other 1911, like I said before, you'd notice the rail, the beaver tail, the trigger. The stippling versus the regular wood stocks. This has got a little more grip, grip to it. Also, the fit and finish on this thing is amazing compared to the Rock Island. The Rock Island's a great gun, but the fit and finish on the SIG is quite a bit better. But the SIG is double the money. We got the SIG, as we've been saying. We're gonna try some of these cheap aluminum cases, see what it can do with those. It's shooting those brass cases, reloads really well. Let's give this thing a whirl. What? No problem. Well, we did some fine shooting with this. Six R. We don't have anything to put on the rail or anything. We're not that sophisticated yet. But with noticing the difference in the sights, in the grip, and everything, and like Wayback said, the whole fit and finish on this thing 
It's just awesome. It's a really good gun. Yeah, the price is a little steep, but if you're looking for a gun that'll run, and it's ran reloads, factory, and aluminum ammo today, so what can a guy do with that kind of gun? Everybody says a high-priced gun can only shoot ball ammo. It's been shooting more than that today, guys. All right, my first impressions, and they truly are first impressions because I've never fired this gun before today. This is the first SIG 1911 I've ever handled. I noticed right off the bat that it had just a beautiful trigger. It's adjustable, factory trigger, really smooth, really light. I also noticed the three dot sights right off the bat. Not all 1911s come with a three dot sight. A lot of them come with the blade sights. I also noticed the beaver tail. It, it's a little thicker right here, so the, the hammer actually lays back into it, which was very nice as well. It's not just a guard. It, it's a little nicer than just a simple guard. Um, very nice gun. I noticed the rail has a nice rail down here. Pretty heavy. I mean, I don't think I'd put anything on it. 1911s are already inherently heavy, being an all-steel gun. So I don't think I'd hang anything from it personally, but you could. It's also got a very nice fit and finish. The fit and finish on this thing is amazing. Um, it might be a little spendy, but you're getting what you pay for. Well, here we are. We've done had a good morning shooting. We had a really great time spending some ammo we made yesterday, the last couple of days. It's been a good weekend. What do you think of that SIG there, way back? I like the SIG. Pretty nice gun. Fun to get out and shoot a 1911. You always have a good time when you're shooting a 1911 with homemade ammo. If there's anything you guys want to see, this is the first video we made on this SIG, so if you guys want, if there's anything you guys want to see about the SIG, or if there's any other videos you'd like to see, uh, comment in the comment section. We'll start up a conversation about it, and we'll get the video out as soon as possible. And uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.